Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a video game room tour. Uh, something I've been meaning to do for a while and I finally got around to getting the time to give it a go. So yeah, I'm going to go through pretty much my entire video game collection that you can see here. Uh, the consoles that I've got laid out that I own. Some other odd bits and pieces. Then I'll go for a little bit of a tour around the room, maybe show some of my setups. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, for those that aren't really interested in the Sonic stuff, I will do that at the end of the video. So yeah, okay, I'm going to start us off with uh, my collection here on the left hand side. Okay, so starting with this pile on the left here, my uh, Sega Saturn games. See here at the bottom I have Sega Rally Championship, Sonic Jam, uh, Clockwork Knight, Guardian Heroes, and just above that is Clockwork Knight 2. I really like the Clockwork Knight games, they're really awesome um, platformers. Something you'll probably see quite a few of in my collection here is platformers, that is because it's my favourite video game genre. Uh, Guardian Heroes, that's got to be without a doubt one of the best games on the Sega Saturn. It's a really awesome side scrolling beat em up. If you've ever, if you've ever played like the games, the Streets of Rage games is a lot like that, but with anime-ish style graphics and RPG element level ups. It was actually released a couple of years ago on the Xbox Live and PSN, so I'd recommend tracking that down as it has a HD upgrade visuals as well, as well as you can also play it with the original graphics. Really fantastic game. Uh, on top of that I've got the House of the Dead 1. Quite a big fan of the House of the Dead games. I've played uh, all of them and I've I think I own most, if not all. You got has the Dead 1, 2, 3, 4, and what was the Wii one? Overkill, if I remember rightly. My favourite by far is the House of the Dead 2, which you'll probably see in a moment in my Dreamcast games. Definitely my favourite. Okay, moving up. For some reason I own two copies of The Lion King. I think maybe I must have bought one again if I thought I'd lost it. It's actually a really good it's actually a really good game. I know most today's standards like video games based based off of movies are usually terrible, but this is actually a really good fun platformer game and actually very very challenging even to uh the experienced gamers in platformers they will probably struggle with this. Okay, above that here we have Streets of Rage 2. That's one of my uh, favorite games of all time. Absolutely love that. Definitely the best out of the three as well. Uh, Mega Games 2 there, which I believe consists of three games on one cartridge, which if I remember rightly is The Revenge of Shinobi, Streets of Rage 1 and Super Hang On. And we have The Terminator there, which is actually another really good uh, film turned game. I didn't really like Terminator 2 the game. But this was a really good, fun side-scrolling platformer. A little bit short, but I thought it was really fun. I mean, Terminator 1 and 2 are my favourite films of all time. And I thought this incorporated it pretty well in a video game. Okay, coming up to Dreamcast. have a Confidential Mission, Zombie Revenge. Really like that game. There's House of the Dead 2. Crazy Taxi. Moving up. Uh, Power Stone 2, that's a really good uh, classic game on the Dreamcast. Sort of uh, made by Capcom, it's sort of like um, a Super Smash Bros style game. But with really insane power ups. Yeah, I really wish Capcom would make uh, another one of these, or at least re release it. And that there, that's uh, just Neo Dragon's Wild, a Neo Geo pocket game that came with the console when I bought that. Okay, moving down here, have PlayStation 2 games. We've got Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 at the bottom there. My opinion, the best Dragon Ball Z game of all time. Sega Superstars, which is actually next to it with a big box there with the eye toy. Uh, Devil May Cry 1, 2, 3. I'm actually a big fan of Devil May Cry series. I do own all of them. I wasn't too impressed with the reboot they did this past year. It was I've got it, I think it's a pretty good game, but in my opinion the old ones they still rock and I prefer the old school Dante. 
Uh, Resident Evil Survivor 2 Outbreak, Outbreak File 2, Resident Evil 4. You'll probably see quite a few Resident Evil games because second to Sonic, that's my favourite video game franchise to play. Been playing those uh, since the first one on the PlayStation 1 released in 1996. No, uh, Parappa the Rapper 2, that's a really good fun music game. I think that was one of the launch games for the PlayStation 2. Uh, I own four PSP games. I'm not too big of a fan of the PSP. I didn't think it had, well, to me it didn't have that many good games I thought for it, so <laughs> two of the games here are actually re-releases from previous consoles, with the exception of the two Sonic Rivals. Got the Special Edition Devil May Cry 4, Sly Trilogy, uh, a PC Sonic R game. I've got two Game Gear games here, Sonic Chaos and Dracula, with the actual original price still on it. Dracula's actually a pretty fun pretty fun game that I used to play in my childhood, believe it or not. Sort of like a really classic old school platformer that was actually actually quite hard. I believe based off the... Uh, I think it was based off the... Um, is it the 1990 Gary Oldman version? Okay, moving on to the Xbox 360 games that I own. Dead Rising, I think that was the very first game I got for the Xbox 360. That is the uh, special edition of Sonic the Hedgehog there. I do have a review up on that on my channel. Blue Dragon and Lost Odyssey, really love these uh, RPG games, I thought they were really good. I'd probably say I preferred Blue Dragon over Lost Odyssey, but I, I really enjoyed both of them. Bayonetta, that's, another, that's one of my favourite games of all time, that is. It's a lot like Devil May Cry, but I absolutely really love that game. That's the Devil May Cry HD collection, consisting of all three original Devil May Cry games uh, in HD visuals. And we have Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City and Resident Evil Revelations there. And Mass Effect games, really love them too. Even if the third one did have a pretty shoddy ending. Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6, a Naruto game, and the only, the only two original Xbox games that I still own. Uh, something I can show with the Resident Evil games. If I just put my camera down. Resident Evil 6 I have signed by Courtney Taylor uh, who was the voice of Ada Wong in the game I, got her, I caught up with her at uh, 2012's MCM and also if I take this pile off Uh, Resident Evil Revelations I have signed by David Vincent who was the voiceover of Raymond in the game. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Okay, I forgot to add that I got David Vincent to sign Revelations while meeting him at London Anime Con uh, this past year actually. It was a really awesome guy to catch up with. Coming on to the top here, I have the Sega Saturn Knights 3D control pad and Knights in the Dreams itself, which I'm sure you know the reputation of Knights if you're a Sonic fan. Really, uh, really good game. <coughs> Definitely one of the best Sega Saturn games again. And really good control pad as well. <coughs> okay, moving down to, we start getting into Nintendo stuff now. <coughs> There's the Knight's Journey into Dreams Wii game. 
It's actually a really good game. It's too bad it didn't sell that well. A few Resident Evil games. I got like Resident Evil 4 there again. I think that's probably the uh, game, along with probably the first Sonic game that I've re bought the most. That's what have I got? I've got it on the PS2 there. Uh, that's the Wii edition. I know I've got it on the GameCube edition, and I also do have it on the uh, <coughs> the Xbox Live. I downloaded again the HD version. Okay, a few Sonic games. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl that is. It's sort of like a special edition. It had a special sleeve. I'll show that once I've just gone to the top here. That's uh, the special edition of a... Uh, well, I say special edition. It just had like a sort of couple of extras with Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, probably I'd say that's my favourite game on the Wii. Uh, two Wii U games, only two at the minute. Nintendo Land came with the console, and Super Mario Bros. U. It's pretty early into the console's life, I'd say, so not much out at the moment. I'd say give it time, and it probably will pick up. I'm really looking forward to the um, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD that's uh, coming out next month, depending on when you're watching this video. Have uh, original Pokemon games here. Big fan of Pokemon. First game I played was Pokemon Yellow, which I own there, as you can see. Then I got Silver, Fire Red, and Emerald. I'd probably say Pokemon Yellow is still my favourite out of the Pokemon games, even if it is basic with graphics and gameplay compared to the others. It's still, I think, insanely uh, replay value on the game is phenomenal. I actually was really, really drawn into it as most people were in the uh, mid-90s with Pokemon. I uh, just have a Mario plush up there. I've got a couple of things I want to show in this pile. Just put the camera down again. So yeah, this is like the special edition of Brawl. It comes with a really nice cardboard sleeve for it. Limited edition, it says there on the back. Really nice. And underneath it I have Sonic Colours, which is signed by uh, Mike Pollock, who is the voiceover of Dr. Eggman uh, since uh, Sonic X, which is 2004. Or might be three. I think it's 2003 when he first died. So yeah. Okay, moving over to this bit. Have a uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee, and there's the GameCube version of uh, The Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker. Wind Waker is one of my favourite games of all time. Although it may not be held as the favourite with the Zelda fans, it was the very first Zelda game I ever played, and I really love the game. And I can't wait for the Wii version to come out. And we have Mario Sunshine. That's a really good uh, GameCube game. And Mario game for that matter. Um, I think the GameCube is my single most owned games for one system. Yeah. And uh, we have uh, all the Resident Evils here for the GameCube. We've got 0, 1, 2, 3, there's 4 again, like I said, and Code Veronica X. Skies of Arcadia. That's actually the Game Boy Player Disc. You actually, uh, I've have got it down here. It's a little system you plug into the bottom of your GameCube so you can play uh, Game Boy Advance games on your television. And of course, Sonic games. Uh, Beautiful Joe 1 and 2. It's another series I wish Capcom would continue. Really good platformer side scroll. Uh, Monkey Ball 1 and 2, really like those games. And I've got Mario Party 6 and 7, uh, the box with the mic editions, which seems to have become quite rare nowadays. And that is a Game Boy Advance cable to 
hook up for any games that use the connectivity like uh, Pokemon and Sonic Adventure 2 and 1 did. Uh, I'd probably to add GameCube is my favourite system out of the previous generation. Even though it was the least selling and popular out of the GameCube, Xbox and PS2, it was my favourite. More games that appealed to me on it. Uh, come down to Nintendo DS now. That's uh, Pokemon Soul Silver. Uh, Resident Evil Deadly Silence. I'm not sure why, but Sonic Shuffle's in this pile. I must have mistakenly put it here, but I actually really love that game. It's actually, uh, I thought, it was quite underrated. For a party game, I actually really enjoyed it. It had immensely playability for multiplayer, especially when you're playing with friends. And we have the Sonic Advance trilogy. And I only actually own a couple more uh, Game Boy Advance games boxed which is Dragon Ball Z, The Legacy of Goku 2, and Super Mario Advance, the first one. I think I do own a couple more Game Boy Advance games, but just not in the box anymore. And on the top of that we have a Toad Plush. Uh, Sank I will add, I'll say this is not my entire game collection that I've had throughout my entire life. Um, I mean, during my school days, I what games I did have, if I wanted to buy another one and I didn't have enough money, I'd have to sell the games to get that game. I was never bought anything for me. Like, uh, the only time I would ever get a game would be, like, on a birthday or Christmas. So I'd always have to do, like, small jobs around places and whatnot to earn money, even if it was only like, not much money. Back then, it would have only been, like, about a tenner, like, to just do like a job, but in a way that never made sure I was never I was never spoiled. I always had to earn my way and earn my money. But in a way, I find I found that maybe I don't have as much as I could have, but it made me uh, obviously learn, learn the respect of money and not abuse it. I used to own like a N64, a load of games for that. I owned a lot more Mega Drive and Saturn games, but obviously I had to sell to get other stuff. Obviously I, I could own a lot more games now if I wanted to, but as I work full time, I don't have as much time as I used to to play those games. So I can only usually stick to certain franchises now that I'm familiar with and like. Maybe branch off every so often maybe okay so let's uh, move down to some of the stuff that I have displayed in front of the games here I've got my uh, original Game Boy there big old chunky Game Boy I did used to own a Game Boy Color but it must have been something I had to sell at one point I've got my original Game Gear here That's I uh, have an II plush here from the Super Monkey Ball uh, games. Uh, this says Game Boy Advance here. Uh, let me just try and open it easily. And I actually have in here my Game Boy Advance SP with a Mario cover. And I believe that is Dragon Ball Z 3 Boo's Fury on the Game Boy Advance. Put that back in there. Yes, it is. So, yeah, moving on, we have the Waluigi plush, uh, Link plush, which I believe is from. Phantom Hourglass says there on the tag. Have the Xbox 360 box there. There's the uh, 
premium pack for the Wii U. A Nintendo GameCube. This is actually a near mint conditioned uh, Mega Drive 32X. It's got a bit of scuffle on the box there, but for its age, that's amazingly in condition. Uh, I do own only two games for it. I'm not sure where to... I own the cartridge. I think it's for Do a Doom game. It's not a very good game, but... And also Knuckles Chaotix, which I'll come to a bit later in the video. Uh, obviously, it's Sega Saturn. This is a uh, Virtual Fighter Plush here. I used to own Virtual Fighter 1 and 2 on the Saturn. So I must have had to get rid of it. Uh, Nintendo 3DS. Uh, another Link plush and the Dreamcast behind here. Since they had the Dreamcast celebrated its 14th anniversary yesterday. So let's give it a bit of limelight here. This tan here is actually my very first console I ever owned. It's actually the Master System 2. I don't own any box or anything with it now. This was actually the very first game system I ever owned, so it must be at least 20 years old. So it's a bit beat up, it's had some rough times, it's got like some paint on it and it's even got an old sticker I must have put on it. But yeah, this is it. A lot of, a lot of memory and history in here with me. And I believe it's got the Alex the Kid game loaded in the system, which is another one of my uh, favourite games of all time. One of the first games I ever played, Alex the Kid in Miracle World. Brilliant platformer. And over here I have some random discs, I've got another copy of Sega Rally and some Dreamcast demos that I got from the Dreamcast magazines that were out at the time. There's a couple of GameCube ones there, back with the old days of demo discs. Um, if you used to ask me what my favourite system is, it's very hard, I'd probably say it's out of two, and that would probably be the Mega Drive, and ooh, that is tough, I'd probably say Mega Drive, or Dreamcast, or Sega Saturn. Maybe the Saturn instead, I'd say. It's very hard to choose, but I do own the Mega Drive boxed, but I don't have it out. I think it's in one of my other rooms. I also do own the console boxes for my other systems here, but obviously I can't keep them all together. I'm a bit of a sucker. I don't ever like throwing boxes away, so I have them in my loft. I have like the PlayStation 3 and the Wii and a couple others up there. Okay, moving from video game aside, I shall move to the top of my display cabinets, which have my anime collection stuff up here. So we see we've got a couple of figurines here, Frieza, we've got Gohan there at the back, a Terminator 1 figurine, some Terminator 2 movie prop stuff here, I've got the T-800 chip and the T-1000 claw, a little Gohan plush. My anime DVDs behind. I've got the orange box sets for Dragon Ball Z. I'd say that's the best way to watch the series. I'm not a big fan of Kai or the new voiceovers they've got. I do also own it though behind there, as you can see. My uh, Blu ray collection. We've got lots of Naruto and Naruto Shippuden in there, and the Blu ray all up there. To the left of it is all just uh, Sonic stuff. As you can see, it's getting always bigger. Uh, some of the games that I have in the cabinets that aren't on show uh, down with the others here, I have here. That is Sonic 3D Blast and Sonic R there, and then Sonic 1, 2. Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic 3 there, Mega Drive. <coughs> Down here in this one, I've got that Sonic Spinball at the bottom there, Sonic 1 and Sonic 2, I think they're on the uh, Master System. 
Sonic Spinball on the Game Gear, Sonic 2 Game Gear, Sonic Blast and Chaos on the Game Gear. There are a few more that might be hidden behind there that I use as sort of uh, to, to prop some of the merchandise up with. And I was talking about 32X earlier. Over here is a sealed copy of Knuckles Chaotix. It's very rare. And yeah, so... You've probably seen most of my uh, most of this is on show my other Sonic merchandise video of the entire collection. If you want to see them more in depth, although it is a little bit out of date now of just the Sonic stuff in my cabinets, uh, here is a link for that. But I can quickly show some of the other stuff. That's the new first four figures modern Sonic there. More stuff in there. I will get around to doing a more modern video for my entire collection at some point. I'll get some more time. Okay, and uh, moving on to my setup, I suppose I can quickly show. This is uh, what I use for gaming. So I'll go back a bit here. This is my uh, Samsung 46C8000 television. Really fantastic television. I got this when it was a launch television uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, it's got nylon flawless high definition pictures. Samsung usually do make really excellent televisions and I usually stick to Samsung. Because I'm pretty well known with them. But yeah, it's an absolute gorgeous television. And my setup underneath it is my uh, the original. Um, I add PlayStation 3 60 gig, which is PS2 backward compatible. The Xbox 360, sort of the the newer model, not the slimmer one they've just released, but the one before that. Underneath it, hiding there is the Wii U, and that's just my surround system. To the left here I have more DVDs and a load of Nintendo magazines, can't really see it there, and some strategy books, and some more merchandise boxes. Okay now before I move on to my special themed Sonic games and one soundtrack, I did just come across this that I didn't have out, this is my Neo Geo Pocket Color. Uh, I do own uh, Sonic Pocket Adventure for this, which is a really cool, fun game. Which was uh, sort of like a, a mixture of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and 3 in one game. It's unfortunate that the handheld didn't have a very long uh, lifespan on the shelf. But yeah. Okay, moving on to my special themed games. And when I mean special themed, I mean they are signed. This is another copy of Sonic Jam. Uh, this one's signed by Takashi Zuka, the uh, current head of Sonic Team. I uh, got this to sign him to sign this at uh, Summer of Sonic 2013. The one just gone. I have the Sonic Adventure 2 20th uh, 20th anniversary soundtrack edition. This one's actually signed by Jun Sanone, the sound director for most of the Sonic games. And I have Sonic Adventure. This is also, it's a bit hard to see there, but this is also signed by Jun Sanone, who I got this to sign at a different Summer of Sonic. Uh, I met him, at, I missed the signing opportunity for him, but luckily I was managed to uh, see him through the day and he was uh, happy to sign it. It's in biro pen, but it's hard to see, but I'm just happy he's still to own it. And now I have a Nine Mint con Nion Mint Condition uh, edition of Sonic CD, which is signed by, uh, I hope I pronounce it right, uh, Kazuyuko Hoshino, who was the creator of Metal Sonic and Amy Rose, as well as um, a lot of other characters, and he's mostly the video game enemy designer for most Sonic games from what I've read. 
and uh, the big one. This is uh, Sonic Adventure 2 on the Dreamcast. And this one's signed by Takashi Azuka and Yuji Naka. At the top, Yuji Naka at the top, Takashi at the bottom there. Who uh, I got them to sign this at uh, the 2011 edition of Summer of Sonic. So, yeah, really happy to get that one signed by them too. And that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching the video, if you have any comments regarding anything that you've seen, uh, feel free to leave one and I will be sure to get back to it. I also appreciate any comments, thumbs up and subscribes, and I'll see you guys soon with another video.